Sports. Now it's time to take a look behind the scenes at a picture that takes rock superstar Madonna into a world she's never been in before, trying to make it as a professional American baseball player in the 1940s. Girls playing pro baseball? Well, back in 1943, when the boys went off to war, baseball and chewing gum tycoon Bill Wrigley decided to keep the parks filled by creating the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Even though the league lasted for 12 seasons, very few people knew about it. Now director Penny Marshall brings us the long overdue story of these remarkable girls of summer in the new baseball comedy, A League of Their Own. The all-star lineup includes Tom Hanks as the manager, Got him! the catcher, Gina Davis, the pitcher, Lori Petty, I made it, a Rockford Pete, the scout, John Lovitz. Are you coming? See how it works here. The train moves, not the station. Rosie O'Donnell at the hot corner. And batting cleanup, Madonna. They call her all the way May. 189, Charlie, take 1A, Mark. There's scouts going around. They went around to various factory leagues and softball leagues. There were major tryouts in Wrigley Field. It started with four teams, 16 girls on a team, and drafted them. Hey! Hey, yourself. I saw you playing today. Not bad, not bad. You ever hear Walter Harvey makes Harvey bars? Yeah, we feed them to the cows when they're constipated. He's starting a girls' baseball league. Want to play? Huh? Nice retort. It's a real league, professional. Professional baseball? They'll pay you $75 a week. We only make 30 at the dairy. Well, then, this would be more, wouldn't it? My sister and I are both picked for the team. We feel like misfits a little bit, you know, like we have this skill that we have never had anything to do with. And then this amazing thing comes along, this baseball league that gives us a way to fulfill ourselves. What are you looking at? Yeah, what are you looking at? All these girls going to be in the league? <laughs> you know, they got over 100 girls here, so, um, some of you are going to have to go home. Yeah, sorry about that. Come on, Doris. Those people are jerks. What do you mean, some of us? Do it. <laughs> Some of them are going home. Hey, how did you do that? One of the Excuse problems me. that we had uh, right off the bat was was finding girls that had some ability uh, on the baseball diamond. Uh, that was a long process. We screened a, a, an awful lot of girls. Out here in Los Angeles, they say the batting cages would never did so much business as <laughs> every actress in town was at the batting cage hitting the balls at. This is the best gig to be in a position where I get paid to come and put on a, a uniform and run around the ball field as much as I want to. It's a man's fantasy baseball experience. Well, yeah, we have a very funny scene in the movie where he's been a bad coach to us, so I sort of have taken over and I give all the signs and do the coaching, basically. Tom doesn't like the play that I've called, so we're giving the opposing signs and things. It was fun. Play ball! I play Jimmy Dugan, six-time right. National League home run champion. I'm ready now. He hates being here, and he doesn't want to be here, and he's not going to take it seriously. And... <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying in baseball! Let me see what happens, uh, Rosie Madonna. I absolutely never played baseball my entire life, so I had to start from scratch. I have a problem that it's that I have a lot of years of dance training, and, and Penny was always screaming at me that I was playing baseball like a dancer. In the early going, she had, yeah, her throwing technique was pretty much, it was a choreographed step-step kick, fling kind of thing. I'm going to kill Tom for saying that about me. So she's better now. I had teamed her up with Rosie O'Donnell. I said, okay, you two are going to be best friends in the movie, so get to know each other. What if at a key moment in the game, my, my uniform bursts open and, uh, Oops, my bosoms come flying out. You think there are men in this country who ain't seen your bosoms? Cut. Nice. She's OK. There's my girl. You're all right. Every so often, she starts acting like a big superstar, you know, big pop movie icon, star, celebrity singer thing. And that's when, you know, Penny looks at me and goes, Rosie, take her down. Bam. Right down. She's humbled. All right. She was a real good sport. She worked so hard. She would run every morning, then she'd work out playing ball, then at night she'd jitterbug. Take 
vibration in the back of a hat. But yeah. to hear the rhythm of the clickety clack. And hear the lonesome and whistle, see the smoke from the stacks. And paddle around with Democratic girls named Max. So change me right back to the track. Jack, choo choo. Choo choo choo. Woo woo. Woo woo. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. 